What's going on everybody, Jason here and today I've got this 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. I've also done reviews on the other Jeep Grand Cherokee trims so I will link that up above for you to check out. Also if you're enjoying these types of reviews please be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as it does help out the channel and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. With that being said let's jump right into this 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland and see what it's all about. Starting with the different trims that you can get there are a bunch that you can choose from so you can either get the Laredo Altitude limited trailhawk overland which you're looking at right now summit or the summit reserve and depending on which trim you choose each of them will have their own unique standard features and available features in terms of the standard safety features for the jeep grand cherokee overland you do get quite a bit you'll get things like full speed forward collision warning plus active lane management system blind spot monitoring and rear cross path detection park sense front and rear park assist with stop adaptive cruise control with stop and go and your pedestrian cyclist emergency braking starting things off in the front of this overland you'll notice it looks exactly like a grand cherokee l however there are a few differences the front end of the grand cherokees i feel is a little bit more rounded off and more redefined compared to the grand cherokee l's where it kind of looks more of a boxy shape starting off at the bottom you've got three slots underneath and because this is a overland you do get your chrome front tow hooks and like i mentioned the sensors you have in the front bumper built right in you've also got your led fog lights which are standard and then also you've got these very very nice Nice looking LED headlamps which are also standard on this. As for the grille area you've got kind of a mixture of black and chrome so you'll notice a lot of bits and pieces in chrome on this on the exterior. I like how the whole front fascia is the body color because sometimes you'll have vehicles where the top half is body color and then the bottom portion of the bumper is kind of in this black plastic trim which doesn't look all that great but this looks really nice. Coming over to the side of the overland around the window trim I like how only the top half is in chrome where the bottom section is in black and it ties into the back which i'll show you you've also got your standard gloss black side mirrors with chrome as well these mirrors will also have your memory setting and the same thing for your roof rails you've got them in both black and chrome as for your door handles these are also body color and chrome plus you've got front and rear doors with passive entry so you can actually lock the vehicle from the front door handles and the rear ones and you can't forget about your grand cherokee badging on the side of the door in chrome as well as for these beautiful wheels these are your standard 20 inch fully polished aluminum wheels and you've got black in all of the pockets which just makes it pop even more with the overland standard you are going to get your 3.45 rear axle ratio along with your quadra lift air suspension your select terrain system and you're going to have your quadra track 2 system as you make your way to the rear of the overland starting at the bottom you've got your dual exhaust with the chrome surrounding it and between your exhaust you do have your hitch covered away with the hitch cover and you've got a little bit more chrome right above that with your marker lights on the rear along with your sensors built in just like the front and as for the tailgate you've got more of your chrome badging the 4x4 and the overland badging but one thing that i do love that they did on this is the rear tail lights now these are of course the led tail lights but i love how just it goes from one end to the other in just one seamless piece because you've got that massive strip of black in the center with the chrome jeep badging another thing that i was mentioning how around the window trim the bottom section was in black so it kind of ties into the rear window perfectly and that design just makes it look even better now opening up the tailgate and this is a hands-free power lift gate so very very nice but as you see you've got a ton a ton of room in here because it's not like the grand cherokee l where you do have your third row so this gives you endless amounts of room to put whatever you need to back here and the only other things you have here is some cubby storage at the bottom you've got your 12 volt adapter and then your button to close your tailgate along with your built-in chrome hooks while on the other side you've got a speaker back here also hidden away underneath is your spare tire along with your jack and other rows roadside safety equipment coming into the rear as you notice this interior just looks really really great and it's by far my favorite color combination that you can get with the overland this is your black and steel gray interior so at the bottom you've got a little bit of storage uh, to put small little items with a cup holder you've also got your two speakers this is the upgraded sound system which i'll mention once we go into the front but up by your window controls you've got this nice gloss black surrounding it and then you have the nice wood trim around your door handle because this overland has the luxury tech group package on the rear you're also going to have your rear window shades and as for the rear seats these are in the beautiful steel gray like i mentioned and you have your full interior covered in napa leather like i mentioned because this is the jeep grand cherokee and not the l this will be your typical five passenger seating also your rear passengers will be very comfortable because you get standard rear heated seats not only that if they want to get even more comfortable they can actually recline their seats back a bit pulling down the center handrest at the back this will expose 
holds the two cup holders for the rear passengers. Behind the driver and passenger seating, you do have some more additional storage area with your matte pockets. As for the rear center console area, you've got your own climate control back here, along with your buttons for the rear heated seats, your venting of course, and then at the bottom you do have your 115 volt plug along with some USB ports. Coming over to the front now, it's exactly like the rear, you just have a little bit more storage area underneath. You've got the same speaker. Now, like I was mentioning, this is the upgraded sound system because this Overland has the Uconnect 10.1 inch touchscreen package, which is going to give you your 19 speaker Macintosh sound system along with your 950 watt amp. You've got your typical window controls, side mirror controls surrounded by a ton of gloss black and the same thing up top by your door handle. You've got more of that wood finish and standard. You are going to get your driver's seat with memory. Also, like I was mentioning with the luxury tech group that this has, you will then also get your passenger seating with memory as well. Not only that, you are also going to get both front seats with massaging feature. As for the front seats, just like the rear, they are going to be heated seats, but not only that, you're also going to have ventilated seats in the front. And on the front, you also get the Overland badging stitched right into the seats. Like I was mentioning about the interior color combinations that you can get. Now you can either get this one that you're looking at, the black and steel gray, or you can just get the full black on black. Also, your front seats will be power adjustable, which does come standard. But with the Luxury Tech Group, you will then get 12-way adjustable front seats. Underneath, nothing too crazy, just your foot pedals. And then right above that, you do have your hood latch release and then your electronic parking brake right above that. Further up, you've got your typical lighting controls and your dimmers right beside it. As for the steering wheel, you are going to have a standard power adjustable steering wheel, which is so convenient. As you enter into the Overland, on the dashboard, you're going to have a mixture of this hard, soft leather and some plastic up by the window. Not to mention your speakers in both corners. As for the centered gauge cluster, this is a fully digital gauge cluster, which is a must have. And if you do look closely on the corners, you do have lights as well. But as for the gauge cluster, you can either set it up how you're looking at it right now, or if you like, you can have it set up like this. Now, in terms of what you can see on this in the center gauge cluster, there's a ton of information about your overland. So you can flick through and have whatever you want in front of you. For your steering wheel, this is a fully leather wrapped steering wheel and it's also heated. You've also got some of that satin chrome finish along with your wood finish as well. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got controls for your center gauge cluster along with your Bluetooth controls. And then you do have a center button for your menu on the digital dash. Over on the right side, you've got controls for your cruise control settings and adaptive cruise control and all that. If you also look closely behind the steering wheel, you do have paddle shifters. But behind that, on the left side, you have your typical indicators and high beam controls. While on the right side behind there, you've got your typical controls for your windshield wipers for the front and rear and your fluid. Over on the center handrest, it's in that beautiful, beautiful steel gray. And there are two sections to this. So if you open up the first one, you have somewhat of a decent amount of room to put like a wallet or something. But if you go ahead and open up the main section, you do have more of a deeper storage area. In front of your handrest, you've got your center console full. I mean, full of gloss black. And yes, this will be a finger magnet and a dust magnet. So have something with you to clean it constantly. But if you open up the first section, you have your front cup holders and these are illuminated at night. Right in front of your cup holders, you've got your select terrain system. So you've got a bunch of different options of how you want to use your vehicle. You've got your typical rotary shifter. And then this, like I mentioned, does have the air suspension so you can control it from here. You've also got your hill descent control and then your four wheel drive low as well. Opening up the section right above all of that, you do have some storage area, but you also have a wireless charging pad, which again is a part of your luxury tech group. You've got another 12 volt adapter and more USB ports and your aux port. Further up, you've got your usual heating and cooling climate controls along with your media controls. And then you also have your buttons for your vented seats, heated seats, and your heated steering wheel. Then you've got this beautiful 10.1 inch touchscreen. And like I mentioned, this is the available upgraded option of the Uconnect 10.1 touchscreen. Otherwise, you're going to only get your 8.4 inch touchscreen. And this also has the new Uconnect 5 system, as you see, which is way better than the previous one. Because on here, for example, on your homepage, if you go to my pages, you can add pages and just rearrange things however you want with the option of multiple different layouts. Over on your media section, you've got your typical AM, FM, Sirius XM. However, now you can wirelessly connect your Apple CarPlay and your Google Android devices. Under your climate control section, you've got the same controls here, or you can use the buttons down below. And again, you can also access your heated seats, vented seats, and heated steering wheel. You can also control the rear climate control, like I mentioned. And then you have your massage feature for the front seats. Here, you can choose a bunch of different options for the massage and the intensity of it. So you can drive around in comfort. Moving over to your navigation screen. Now, 
now you've got this nice crisp clean and responsive navigation section compared to what it was before under your phone pairing settings typically you can only do one phone but now with the uconnect 5 system you can pair up to two phones at the same time as for what's under your vehicle tab here you've got controls to dim your rear view mirror and also access your rear view camera but with the overland you're also going to get your off-road pages which is standard so if you click the off-road section and then click launch off-road pages you're going to be able to see a bunch of different information about your overland like your vehicle dynamics section your accessory gauges your pitch and roll select train system and here you can actually see the different terrain that you choose and the image will change accordingly and also you can see your suspension section finally under your application section you've now got alexa built in and you've also got the section for ambient color which you can choose your interior ambient lighting also the bar that you see at the top of the screen it is a touch bar so whatever you press will bring out a shortcut menu above your screen you have a few more buttons starting from the left side you've got your auto start stop button your lane keep assist traction control and then your parking sensor button to turn on and off moving up not only do you have a dimble rear view mirror but with the luxury tech group you're also going to get your digital rear view mirror which is so nice and then further up you've got this whole section again in a lot of gloss black and you have your typical interior dome lighting you can open and close your tailgate you've got your assistant sos buttons and then your sunroof controls and your sunshade controls this overland does come standard with a dual pane panoramic sunroof which is a must-have coming over to the passenger side you've got a decent amount of room to put small little things in here nothing too crazy as for the key fob you do have your typical jeep grand cherokee l key fob with your unlock lock remote start tailgate open and close panic button and then just your jeep logo at the back as for what will power your overland you've got two options you can either get the 3.6 liter pentasar v6 engine or the 5.7 liter v8 hemi but this particular overland as you see has the 3.6 liter pentasar v6 engine which is going to give you 293 horsepower with 257 foot pound of torque and when it comes to towing, you're going to be able to tow up to 6,200 pounds. And here is the window sticker for the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. You've got your typical information about the vehicle, followed by your standard equipment, which this has a lot of, followed by your optional equipment that this vehicle has. Then you have your pricing at the bottom. This is in Canadian dollars and minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts. Well, that does it for this 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you love this or do you hate it?